All right, today we are going to be installing this LED light kit on this uh, 1997 Honda Civic right here. Um, <clears throat> here's your LEDs right here. We got four strips. Here's the connecting wires right here. <clears throat> and um, here's your control box. And here's the remote starter. Um, what you're going to need. <clears throat> got a pair of side cutters right here. Got some zip ties. And possibly a drill. Uh, first thing you want to do. Uh, lay out these LED strips. You're going to notice that these two. There are two of them that are longer. Uh, the two on the bottom are longer than the top ones. So the two on, that are longer are going to go on the sides. And the two short ones, one's going to go in the front, one's going to go in the back. Now if you notice, on these two shorter ones right here, uh, if you follow the wires, you're going to notice that one of them is a little bit longer. That's the one that's going to go in the back of the vehicle because all the wires need to uh, meet a central point on this uh, control box, which they're going to connect to. And uh, All right, I kind of fast forwarded on y'all. Um, we're installing this LED light kit um, <clears throat> Basically, I've already finished. Um, I'm just gonna kind of walk you through the steps uh, first thing what I did is uh, here's the control box right here and uh, You got uh, these are these white leads are gonna go connect to the LED light strips um, You've got these wires coming from this uh, connector box right here uh, first, there's um, there's one red wire. It's completely red. This one, it does absolutely nothing. Um, there's also a a black wire, which probably you're gonna think, hey, it's a ground wire. This does absolutely nothing. It's actually you can use it as a ground, um, but you don't need this. So I just put a little bit of uh, electrical tape on the, uh, the the side that was showing. Electrical tape on this one. I just wrapped them up. The only wire that you need <coughs> is uh. There's a uh, a wire that has it's basically it's this one right here it's coming coming off of here I just uh, zip tied it to the battery cable and uh, this wire has one red and one black wire okay now that wire splits into two and then one side is going to be completely red and the other one is going to have a black and red stripe the red is going to go to the positive battery terminal and the black and red one you're going to connect that to the negative battery terminal um, and that's all you need um, the red black wire goes to the negative the red one goes to the positive uh, basically what I did <clears throat> is um, I just uh, cut the end of the uh, uh, cut a little bit of um, sheathing uh, insulation off of that the end of that wire and I put these little uh, this little connector on the end of it let me show you what that connector um, looks like. Basically, uh, let me see what I got here. What I did here is, uh, it's basically this right here. Uh, you can get this set right here, like Harbor Freight for like maybe five bucks or something like that. Uh, it's just a terminal and connector assortment. Um, the one I used was this one. Um, which is probably the largest of them all. Uh, let's see, this is what I used right here, um, and I just stuck that. Uh, basically, what you do is you just stick your wire all the way through, and then you're gonna clamp down on this uh, the metal piece underneath this yellow insulation. Clamp down on it, get a, a nice grip on that uh, that that um, wire, and then uh, you just take your uh, the battery terminal, you're going to take that, uh, the bolt that um, holds your battery terminal on, stick that bolt right through here, and just bolt it down. <clears throat> but that's basically what I use. I mean, you could use um, just about any of these that fit. Um, you could also probably, maybe optionally, use one of these right here. Um, you know, if you want to be able to, instead of that way, you don't have to take the bolt all the way out. You can just like, um, just put that right on top of the bolt and uh, tighten it down. That way, you don't have to take that uh, that retaining nut all the way off um, in order to uh, disconnect power. 
Uh, let's see, let's go back here. I'm gonna walk you through the steps. This is what I did, basically. This is what I did. All right, first of all, you got your LED light strips. Uh, the short ones are gonna go on the front and rear of the vehicle, and the, uh, the long ones are gonna go on the sides. Uh, what I did is I started back up under here. I'm gonna show you how I did this right here. Let's see. All right. This is one on the side, this is one of the long ones. And uh, basically I just, uh, some of these are gonna have adhesive uh, on the back of the LEDs. Uh, these did not. So what I did is I drilled holes. Um, oh, let's see, one right here and then on the other side basically. So just uh, one hole here, one hole here, and then I just ran a zip tie uh, inside here and just pulled it out on this side. Um, now what I did to get that zip tie, you're gonna stick it, stick that zip tie up in here and uh, <clears throat> to get it to come out of the other side on the other end of that hole, um, basically, <clears throat> I'm gonna show you what I did. <clears throat> Before I show you the tool that I use, um, you want to make sure that this is kind of that this is very secure. You don't want, you know, uh, these LEDs falling down, these uh, this strip falling down on you. Um, so I did it like say I I just count like say one, two, three, four, five, and then I drill you know two holes, one here and one here, and then zip tie, you know, one, two, three, four, five and then uh, do another one or you can do it every you know uh, every three or you know the more the better um, on the back on the back side let me get around here uh, you know I wanted to put this further uh, in the back of the vehicle like uh, uh, maybe like right by the rear bumper but uh, uh, the uh, extension to this LED in the back uh, was not that long so what I did is <clears throat> here's the back tire right here <clears throat> there's a the rear wheel right there and uh, I kinda just uh, here's the back where I started kinda like right here's where the uh, jack point is right here and basically I just took it ran a zip tie up in here um, and, I, and this is the brake line right here no, that's yeah. Uh, this is uh, this is your parking brake line right here, and this is your um, for your uh, brake fluid. But uh, this brake, this parking brake cable, I just kind of ran it right along this parking brake cable, and uh, I put it here's the the fuel tank, and uh, this is the fuel tank right here. This is the parking brake cable, and I ran it up uh, underneath this heat shield. <clears throat> see if you can. I uh, ran it behind this heat shield uh, right along with the uh, right next to the parking cable and I came out on the uh, on the other side of this heat shield right here and just uh, drilled two holes right here <clears throat> zip tied it right there and then uh, continued to run that wire until I met with the other LED that I have uh, right here and this is the one right here uh, and then basically what I did is I already uh, zip tied this LED right here and um, <clears throat> I zip tied it all the way and after I was done then I came back and I uh, just took this wire and then I zip tied it like right here you know zip tied it right here to the LED itself that way I didn't have to drill any more holes um, <clears throat> and then when I got up to right about here <clears throat> you're gonna have to get these LEDs wires up into the uh, to your control box so that you can connect it to your battery so what I did is I just zip tied it right here this is a uh, your evap purge one of the evap purge line that comes out of the can uh, basically out of the vent valve um, stuff coming out of your uh, charcoal canister uh, evap uh, fumes coming from your uh, gas tank and stuff they come out of basically come out of this right here but uh <clears throat> so it's you know it's not going to be hot you want to keep these lines away from your exhaust though anything that's going to be hot uh anything any moving parts any fans belts anything that's hot you want to keep these electrical lines away from that so you know i just zip tied it up right here 
and just kind of fed the, uh, the lines up through here. Then I came in through the top of the engine and just grabbed it and pulled the lines up. And I'll show you exactly how I did all of that. Um, but there's the, this is that rear wire and this is the uh, right side. And then for the, uh, <clears throat> the left side on the driver's side, here it is right here. Um, I ran that wire and drilled two more holes right here. Um, here's your um, some more uh, evap lines, fuel lines, and stuff like uh, right here. Um, I just zip tied it to that right there. Uh, this is I, I zip tied it to the, the sway bar. This is a suspension component. Uh, you really don't want to uh, attach anything to suspension components except you know the sway bar. It doesn't really move. This kind of keeps uh, your vehicle from uh, tipping over. Um, keeps it stable. Um, but it keeps it from going teetering from left and right too much whenever you make uh, cornering whenever you're making turns uh, So I just put one zip tie there and just fed it up and uh, ran it right along the uh, the cowl pan uh, the firewall uh, This one in the front. Let's see. I'm gonna show you this one in the front how I did this uh, Let's see Here's the front one. I started basically right here. This is a uh, I just zip tied it right here on the corner. This is uh, actually for towing. Um, hopefully I won't have to use that too much. If I do, I'll just have to cut that uh, zip tie right there and just pull that out a little bit and then I can tow right there in order to avoid damaging that. <clears throat> Basically, these were already here. Some of these holes were already here. Um, but I drilled uh, some holes. Basically just ran right through here, ran right through here, one right here. Uh, put the LEDs on the front and basically just zip tied it and uh, ran that line straight up from here. There's that uh, that toe. This is for towing, and um, I ran that straight up on the side right here to the top and just fed that wire up. <clears throat> here I'm going to come out here and kind of show you exactly how I did all of this but here's where I came I'm gonna pull this um, coolant reservoir it just slides out of here this is a 97 Honda Civic uh, they make it real easy uh, basically just ran that up here zip tied it right here um, here's the lines and uh, you want to make all your um, once you get all of your electrical connections made, everything, you want to zip tie it up, make it all real tight. Uh, here's an electrical line that was, uh, you know, a, f a factory electrical line that was pre-existing. It's already down here. So I just zip tied everything to that uh, pre-existing electrical line. This box right here, this is what comes with your kit. This is your, uh, basically kind of like the control module. Ba what I did right here, uh, it comes with um, these four, you can, uh, it comes with whole holes right here, right here, here. Uh, two on this side, one, two, and there's two on this side, one, two. You can drill holes right through here and, you know, just uh, have this uh, bolted on if you want. It also comes with an adhesive backing, which is basically what I did. Uh, if you are going to use that adhesive backing, I would highly recommend what you're going to do uh, is clean the surface. Uh, I use, like, you can use brake clean, thro uh, carb clean, throttle body clean, whatever. You know, just clean off that surface really good. Um, have it dry, um, and then take uh, make sure that this surface, the back of this surface, is clean. And what I did is peeled off one side, put it onto the back of this control module, and then <clears throat> made sure that was all nice, flat, and firm. And then I peeled off the adhesive on the other side, and then slapped it right onto uh, the frame of the vehicle. And then uh, I have my wires right here. I just kind of tightened everything up you know zip tied it right here and just ran it right along uh, this is like uh, the positive battery cable um, just ran it right along the positive battery cable zip tied it split the wires then ran my positive here and my negative here um, the other lines this is the one coming over here from the uh, driver's side that's I just fed it up using a, a pre-existing uh, attachment that is on the uh, firewall um, and here's uh, some hydraulic brake lines and stuff like that um, for hydraulic fluid basically I just uh, you know put a zip tie right in there <clears throat> uh, zip tied it to the next um, attachment on the firewall and then just ran it uh, right here and then uh, ran it up by my uh, positive battery cable 
You can see all that. It just runs right up here, right along that exists on on this wire right here. So uh, I just basically zip tied everything to this wire right here. So just take it like that, run it through here, <clears throat> and here's uh where I came up by the uh that uh the evap line that where the vent valve everything comes out of. The, there's uh that's where those two wires right there are are coming from from down there. And I just ran them up here and connected them all right there, and uh, just ran them all right up through here. And that's it. That's basically it. Um, <clears throat> what I was gonna show you uh. To get those uh, those zip ties, whenever you're doing the zip tie stuff, and you're trying to uh, get the uh, zip ties in, in in the holes and stuff like that from one side, from one hole to the other, I was just I was kind of just showing you some of these stickers and stuff like that I got right here. Um, <clears throat> but uh, to get these uh say when you put put a zip tie in through one hole and you're trying to get it through the other side what I did also one more thing when you're doing these when you're drilling these holes um, be very careful or be just mindful of where you're drilling um, actually when I drilled uh, upwards under here on, under the bottom I came out right here on one and right here on another um, right behind this panel um, right here there are um, a lot of electrical wires running right along here. You don't want to drill into those wires. So try to uh, drill, you know, I drilled right along the side, right right down this way, right here. This is where my line went. And you got electrical wires that run right here under the seat. They come from that side and they run basically right behind this right here. So right up under here is where your electrical wires are right down here and they come up right here and so you don't want to hit these electrical wires um, <clears throat> so I dr kind of drilled like right here and so just drill through um, once you come out on the other end of drilling um, you're good but basically what I did to get those electrical wires you can do I mean whatever you want to do whatever works for you but what I did is um, I employed some of these uh, these hooks right here. You can get this hook and this pick and hook set right here from Harbor Freight for like uh, you know a dollar, two dollars or something like that. But uh, I just fed one uh, uh, end of the zip tie through, and then I just used the pick, this 90 degree hook, and uh, kind of pulled it through. Or when in some cases I use this, uh, I got this from Harbor Freight also. It's uh, basically like a wire brush they come like a little box little kit and uh, I just use the end of it there's like a little hook on the end and I just fed this through uh, one hole and then uh, it put on the top of the other hole and I look just looked in through with a flashlight when I could see the uh, end of this uh, this hole on the other end I would just feed the zip tie in through the hole and then once the zip tie was in the middle of that hole I would just pull it out out the other end of the hole and you know went pretty good went worked pretty well so uh, I mean whatever works for you uh, I mean you know it's a uh, it's a million and one ways to uh, you know do so it's not just one way to do this I mean you can do it any way you want to um, I mean I've seen people bring it up you know through the fender um, right back up under here you can feed that wire back through here just bring it up here bring it behind here feed it up through that fender wall um, and have it come out through uh, one of these holes right here in, in the uh, in the wall, but or you can bring it up in through the interior, whatever you want to do. Like I said, it's it's more than one way to do this. It's more than one way to do a job. This is just the way I did it, and uh, you know, just trying to give you an idea. You know, whenever you want to do yours, uh, that's how you want to do it with this LED light kit. Um, <clears throat> this is the control to it. And basically, the C button is supposed to be the power button. So, when you hit the C button, uh, the light should come on. And uh, there you have it. <clears throat> you can probably see it. You can see it a lot better at nighttime. But uh, oh, that's it, though, right there. So, and then under the rear, there you go, back there.
and the C button cuts it off also. So, and this light kit changes colors. You know, this right here, the C button turns it on. B changes the colors. D uh, makes it pulsate, uh, and A changes the. Uh, it's kind of like another variation of changing it. But that's basically how uh, I install this light kit right here. Um, if you got any questions or concerns, you know, feel free to contact me. Uh, if you need any help with anything like that, um, I don't hesitate to call me. You know, I'll try to help you out. All right, uh, thanks a lot. My name is David, and uh, hope you all have a nice day. All right, it's a little bit later. Let's go outside and uh, see what it looks like. See if I can find this remote here. Alright. Uh. Right. Let's see what she looks like. That's what it looked like right there. All right, <clears throat> just a few um, pointers when you're doing this right here. Uh, I just want to make a little, a couple of little comments. Um, first of all, you want to test out your light kit. Um, <clears throat> connect the uh, regular lead, the, the red lead to the uh, positive battery terminal and connect your, uh, bl your black lead to the uh, negative side. Um, <clears throat> just make sure that it tests that the kit works. Um, second of all, I would uh, <clears throat> do it, just go get underneath the car, do a little look around, make sure that uh, you map it out, that you that you have a layout, that you want you want to make sure that your um, that your wires are gonna um, actually um, have enough space, or your wires are gonna be long enough to reach the control box. See, in my case, I wanted to put the uh, <clears throat> the strip in the back a little further uh, further back. That was my intention. But when I, I laid it out and I started running the wire to the uh, to the engine compartment where the control box was, um, it wasn't going to reach. It wasn't long enough. So it had I had drilled holes and started uh, <clears throat> zip tying that um, that LED strip. When I got to the front, when I would have made it to the front with the wire, I would have came up short. So you want to make sure that you got enough wire. You want to make sure that. Uh, you you know you just you have a layout you want to lay things out um, that's basically what I'm trying to stress here um, <clears throat> another thing like I said keep all your wires away from you know moving parts uh, radiator fan belts uh, any kind of uh, CV axles anything that's moving um, anything that's hot uh, exhaust pipes exhaust manifolds stuff like that um, <clears throat> another thing is um, if you're actually going to be drilling holes uh, I would suggest, I would suggest, um, I, I had to actually have these special, uh, <clears throat> i show you right here, these uh, carbide drill bits, 
these are uh, these are this is a solid carbide carbide drill bit. Uh, I mean, you can use whatever you want: titanium nitride, um, <clears throat> cobalt, you know, whatever you have. But uh, <clears throat> you're gonna be wasting your time if you're trying to drill through metal. Um, if you're trying to whatever you're drilling on, you need to have uh, a metal that is harder or stronger than whatever you're drilling on. Um, so if you're trying to drill through solid steel, I would suggest using a solid carbide drill bit. Otherwise, you'll be out there forever. <clears throat> Which is uh, <clears throat> the case when I first went out there and started drilling. Um, I had to actually ordered this, some of these carbide drill bits, and they're kind of expensive too. Uh, that single carbide drill bit right there cost uh, about 20 bucks on Amazon. So, uh, you know, with shipping including, that included and everything. <clears throat> Alright, but uh, that about wraps it up. And uh, <clears throat> if you got any questions, feel free to hit me up. Uh, if you need some help, um, you know, I do installation and stuff like that. You know, uh, if you need any kind of work done, hit me up. Uh, my name is David, and I uh, wish you luck on your uh, LED installation. Thanks.